few days ago, presidential candidate Gustavo Petro announced the different political figures that will back his campaign in the second round of elections. He also highlighted again the numerous failings of the previous democratic process. Not only do we have the state council's decision that confirms the vulnerability of the software, I previously denounced the fact that there was no technical audit of the software, thereby violating the state council law. There was no electoral transparency. These statements came after the National Registry Office announced it will choose for the second round of presidential elections the same electoral jury that were selected by software that did not receive a technical audit. In the first round of the presidential elections, there were a series of irregularities, such as the manipulation of ballots. Our monitoring mechanisms found 4,000 irregular ballots. It is a very high percentage, and if the registry office announces that they will keep the same juries, it damages the electoral process. After the results of the first round of voting, many people denounced the irregularities of several ballot forms on social media, highlighting possible electoral fraud. As a result, the Electoral Observation Mission has started an investigation. We found alterations in 3% of the ballot forms that we reviewed. That represents 68,000 irregular votes just in the first round. Although in the first round about 19 million Colombians went out to vote, it is expected that in the second round the participation will be 53.36%.